Today we will be talking about angles in a transversal. We will be working with two parallel lines and an intersecting line called a transversal. We will be talking about each of these angles and how they are related. Go. C and F and D and E are alternate interior angles. This means that angle C is congruent to angle F and angle D is congruent to angle E. Do it. How'd you do it, man? Angle A and H are alternate exterior angles as well as angle B and G. This means that angle H is congruent to angle A and angle B is congruent to angle G. C and E and D and F are same side interior angles. These angles are supplementary, which means they add up to 180 degrees. Angles A and E and B and F are corresponding angles. This means that A and E are congruent and B and F are also congruent. C and G and D and H are also corresponding angles, therefore congruent. Angles A and D and B and C are vertical angles, therefore congruent. Can angles F and G and E and H are also vertical angles, therefore congruent. Use what we have learned about angles to find A and B. Your choice. We know 100 degrees is an alternate exterior angle to angle A, making them congruent. Five. I see you. We also know 80 degrees and angle B are corresponding angles, making them congruent. Use what we have learned about angles to find angle A, B, and C. We know 60 degrees is congruent to angle A because they are same side interior angles. We also know angle A is supplementary with 60 degrees because they are same side interior angles, making it 120 degrees. Angle A and C are vertical angles, making them congruent. We know angle A is 120 degrees, therefore angle C is 120 degrees.